This is the road back to some sort of independence for 85-year-old Eileen Curtin. She's just spent more than a month in hospital after a stomach bug. I felt terrible. I couldn't describe it, how I felt. I wasn't eating and it took me all my time to drink because I was frightened. The danger was she'd be stuck in an expensive hospital bed waiting for the care she needed to cope at home. I was isolated in a little room all by myself. I was very down, you know, and I thought I'm never going to come out of there. But she was moved to this special flat with care on hand. Without it, she could have been in hospital for another fortnight. It's one way North Yorkshire County Council and the NHS locally are working together to ease pressures. I feel as if they're helping me to get my strength back. And I, I do feel better for it. And I, I mean, I was never lonely. But North Yorkshire is a large rural county with an ageing population. Despite investing in new services, like many authorities highlighted in today's National Audit Office report, the council is struggling with the sheer demand for care. And delays in getting people out of hospital have increased. At Harrogate Hospital, it's social worker Carol Burden who has to organise the community support needed. At the moment, it's very busy. There is a drive to get them out as soon as possible, but then you have to do the um, a liaison with families, any uh, community nurses or anybody that needs to be involved in that discharge, it can be quite hard to uh, coordinate that care and find the care. The ambitions of the council plan are all about better outcomes for all North Yorkshire residents despite reductions in local government funding. It's North Yorkshire councillors and officials who have to find the money to pay for a lot of that care. They're raising council tax, but this Conservative-run authority is adamant a long-term solution has to be found. I am too gravely disappointed that the government hasn't seen fit to provide genuinely new money when it is so desperately needed. Seven years ago, this council spent about a third of its budget on providing care and support for people who are older and disabled. But now, the cost of adult social care is heading towards half of its budget, with demand still increasing. And that's at the heart of the problems they're wrestling with in there today. We will continue to plan ahead for the future. We will continue to prioritise social care. You've seen we've done that. Social care is a much bigger proportion of our budget. But it's probably the most worrying time in social care that I've ever known in 20 years. And at each stage, the care system is showing signs of the pressure. And of course, we've got this evening's handover at 7.50. At this Harrogate home care provider, they're arranging support for new council-funded clients. But on the wages they're able to pay, it can be a struggle to compete with supermarkets for staff. You know, you're driving from place to place, you're in your own vehicle. Um, and it's easier to be in one place. Now that might be a nursing home or it might be a supermarket. It, it, it is hard um, to compete with that. And I think the only thing that I, you know, carers aren't paid enough, you know, for the service that de they deliver daily. You know, they work long hours. Hi, Johnny, it's Sue. Hi, Sue. And people like 62-year-old Jenny Dent rely on those care workers. She's partially paralysed with other complex conditions. The four visits she gets each day mean she can remain at home. Vital support, which she says needs recognising. Value your carers, give them more money, give them more respect and provide more carers and adequate care for people who want to be able to live in their own home. The government insists people are benefiting from health and care services working together and that more money is being invested. But change takes time and for those on the front line, the pressure is here now. Alison Holt, BBC News, North Yorkshire.